as commercialization of genetically modified maize variety in the country, arguing that it benefits outweigh the purported risks and will help improve the country's food security situation. They hold that this will also help farmers generate in enough income and thus help reduce poverty in the country. Philip Keitani visited the Kenya Agricultural Livestock and Research Organization controlled growing tests at Kibiko 1 in Mokweni. And now reports. <laughs> Last year, the National Biosafety Authority allowed scientists to conduct field trials for biotech maize, subject to NEMA's decision on the possible impact of the crop on the environment. The trials, which were expected to take two years, were to be conducted nationwide in the Kenya Plants Health Inspectorate Services CAFIS, confined fields, and inspected by other government agencies. During the field trials, CAFIS was to compare the conventional seed varieties with the genetically modified ones with a view to determining changes in nutritional composition, yield performance, and pest tolerance. We were able to demonstrate up to about 40% yield advantage compared to uh, the commercial ones that are uh, in the market. And so far, the gene has shown a positive and significant effect on yield with the GMO maize giving a yield advantage of over 45%. On this control farm here in Kiboko, Makueni County, Calra and other partners have grown both genetically modified maize and non-genetically modified maize on the same piece of land. The one on my right is a genetically modified maize, while this one on my left is not genetically modified. And the difference are like day and night with this non-genetically modified maize being severely affected by the stock borer, while this one is very healthy. The program under the Water Efficient Maize for Africa Wema Kenya project insists that the initiative is meant to help address drought and insect pest in maize with the objective to increase yields by 20 to 35 percent under moderate drought and to reduce yield losses due to stem borers using both conventional and recombinant DNA techniques. The genetically modified materials that are inside here, grown, growing side by side, the ones that are non-genetically modified, we observe that, that the fall armyworm pest that naturally attacks this maize is controlled. In Kenya, the stem borer is known to reduce maize yields by an average of 13% or 400,000 tons of maize a year. This is equivalent to the amount of maize imported by the government yearly for 7.2 billion shillings. According to the scientists, if the variety is approved, Kenya will become the second country in Africa after South Africa to release BT maize for use by farmers. <laughs> wale wana sayansi washirikiane na wenye wanahusika na agriculture we lift the ban up so that we can get something that will help us to pend hiyo ukulima the scientists now insist that the trials in Kiboko have shown that the GMAs are safe and that the government should make sure that what the scientists have done for the last two years does not go to waste. As the politics of whether Kenya should leave the ban on genetically modified maize, scientists from different organizations have continued with their control trials across the country. But so far, the genetically modified maize has consistently shown its superior characteristics as compared to the ordinary maize. Philip Keitang for the next frontier. Now gone are the days when traders were